Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm coming at you with another little applique that's super quick and easy uh, crochet. Today it is an adorable little carrot. It might be blown out because this is a really bright orange <laughs> scrap that I had, but it's just a cute little carrot applique that you can put into a package to send to someone for Easter, some eggs for kids, decorate another Easter project, or have laying around just to be cute. <laughs> but it's super fast, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So what you'll need is you'll need some orange and green worsted weight yarn, and uh, these are scrap balls. I think they're red heart, but they're scrap. You'll need a yarn needle, some scissors, and an elf hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter. Okay, so to get started with the carrot, you're going to make a slip knot and stick it on your hook. And then you need to chain nine. So now in the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, put a double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. There's your double crochet. So in the next two chains, make one more double crochet each. So now you have three double crochets. In the next two chains, put a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up. You'll have three loops, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And do it one more time. In the next stitch, put a single crochet. And in the last stitch, put three single crochets. One, two, three. Alright, so we're going to be working up the back loops now, the back loops of the starting chain. So this doesn't count as one because it's really the last chain. So go to the second one here and put a single crochet in it. The next two, put a half double crochet in. And then the last three, put a double crochet in each. So there's one, two, three. And then chain two and slip stitch down here where you put the last double crochet. I always have a hard time doing slip stitches. <laughs> Alright, so that finishes the body of your carrot. So now we're going to attach green. And what I do to attach green is I go back into slip stitch again. But instead of using the orange, I just pick up my green, which just rolled off. <laughs> and I lay it over my hook. And I pull it through to finish off the slip stitch. And then I'm working with green. So now you can snip off your orange. Get it out of the way. Alright, so for the leaves on top of the carrots, with your already attached green yarn, chain four, do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, and a single crochet in the next two chains. That's a total of three single crochet all together. And then slip stitch back down in this hole that you attached your green in and chain six. Do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and the next four chains for a total of five single crochets. And then again, slip stitch in this hole and then chain four Single crochet in the second chain from the hook and the next two for a total of three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three. And then for the last time, <laughs> slip stitch in that hole again, pull your yarn up a smidge, and snip it. Finish it off. 
And there's your carrot. You would want to weave in your ends, of course. <laughs> Try to straighten it out. You can either block these or steam them lightly, or you could just put them in like a book and squish them, and that'll help keep them laying flat. <laughs> And uh, if you don't like this little tiny hole right here, you can use one of your green ends to kind of sew it shut before you weave in the ends. But then your carrot's done. So here's my carrots. <laughs> this one's fluorescent, but that's okay. Just cute little carrots. That'll be great little appliques for an Easter decoration or table confetti or to throw in a gift with some for someone. Anything like that. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. Subscribe if you're not. Share the video if you think someone else might enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.